I am heartbroken and furious today to learn about the Israeli murder of U.S. citizen Aishinur Izgi, who was in the West Bank participating in a peaceful protest where they were supporting Palestinian farmers trying to hold on to their land from the violent Israeli settlers. My heart goes out to her family, to her friends, and let's remember she is not the only U.S. citizen murdered by the Israeli military. There was Rachel Corey in 2003, a 23-year-old woman, also from Washington State, who was crushed by an Israeli bulldozer as she tried to protect the home of a Palestinian family in Rafah. There was Furkan Dogon, who is in international waters with the Gaza Freedom Flotilla trying to bring humanitarian aid to Gaza when it was boarded and he, along with nine others, were murdered by the military. There was Shireen Abu Akleh, the journalist, who was clearly marked in a vest that said press when she was shot in the head by Israeli snipers. You know, President Biden said, if you kill an American, we will respond. How has he responded? By sending more and more weapons to Israel. As we work to dismantle the entire settler colonial regime in Israel, there are some immediate actions we have to take. One is to demand an independent investigation into the murder of Aishinur Igzi. We must demand that the settlers be sanctioned, not just the individual ones, but the government people who are supporting them. We must demand that the nonprofit status of the groups in the United States that send money to those illegal settlements be taken away. And we must demand that President Biden stop sending weapons to Israel. We say today, Aishinur Igzi Presente, Free, Free Palestine.